tonight's adventure we're driving through the historic South Dixie Highway in the town of Dalton, Georgia. For today's vlog is going to be nothing but hot, grilled, and juicy. Hello my friends, Mr. Nomad Ben here. So we're going to start out our adventure here at Victory Fields, a tiny gas station here off of South Dixie Highway in Dalton, Georgia. I'm also wearing a Bob Belcher from Bob's Burgers t-shirt where he says, Okay, fine, but I'm going to complain the whole time. But why am I wearing this shirt? And I'm at this Victory Fields gas station. Well, this gas station used to be home of the real Bob's Burgers, which is currently right behind me. We're going to take a closer look at this restaurant because it's not operational, unfortunately. But this was home to a deep fried cheeseburger. So let's go ahead and take a look at the remnants of what it used to be. Then we're going to go eat a cheeseburger. Then we're going to go see the movie. I'm going to invite you to come with me. And here we go. Tell us all about where you've been, Nomad Ben. Tell us all about the finer points of living and your traveling. Food, beer, history, nature, quest. Every corner of the south to the great Midwest. Tell us all about where you've been. That is right, my friends, Bob's Burgers. The real one here in Dalton, Georgia. Even though it's at a little gas station here in my town, but this was a home to a deep fried cheeseburger. And I gotta say, it was very delicious. And now it's nothing left but a storage area for the gas station. And they did once deliver here and they were open pretty early, so you could have got yourself a nice steamy burger or some chicken wings early in the morning. And they were very third shift friendly people, because sometimes I have a craving for chicken wings. And they would actually be nice enough to make me fresh chicken wings. And now unfortunately, it's just nothing but a little beer storage area. But if you are a fan of the TV show, you know how Bob has his burger of the day in the Backyard Burger. And I've had the Backyard Burger before too when this place was open. And it's just fresh ground beef. Kind of organic type beef. So, we're gonna go inside the gas station and we'll get a better look at what it used to be. But this is just the outside window of it. But the prices here were unbelievable for a burger, fry, and a drink. And here's what's really inside the old Bob's Burgers now. Now full of gambling games and beer storage in here, but I could probably go get a better look of the inside if the lighting allows me. This is where you used to order and the menu would be on top. And this is the seating area throughout and the fountain drinks on the other side. But this is what it's like my friends. The inside of the old Bob's Burgers. And I bet you the real Bob Belcher would be happy if you had a place like this. So it was actually a sad day when I found out that this place was closed because I was looking forward to coming here, having a burger, and then going to see the movie when I found out that the Bob's Burgers movie was coming out. But it is what it is. At least we have history here in Dalton, Georgia that there was once a true Bob's Burgers here in the town of Dalton. And I think that's awesome and just something that we could say we had a Bob's Burgers in Dalton. And that's pretty cool. So, like I told you earlier, this place was home to a deep fried cheeseburger. And of course you can't get that anymore, but you probably can maybe at other places. But there's actually a restaurant in Chattanooga that we're gonna go to. It's kind of a chain restaurant, but not really. Uh, there's only a few uh, locations throughout the US. So uh, it's a North Carolina based uh, burger joint. And we're gonna go there right now. And they got a burger there that'll give homage to their deep fried cheeseburger here. So let's go over there now. Let's have a burger before we go see the movie. So I gotta tell you, when I first discovered the show, Bob's Burgers, I thought, okay, it's just one of those weirdo adult sitcoms with cheap animation and really dumb humor but then I gave the show a try when it first came out and I just could not stop laughing and 
it has good seasons and bad seasons every time I watch the show, but I do enjoy the show very much, and I cannot wait to uh, get myself a really good burger. And here we are at the North Carolina-based burger joint at the Bad Daddy's Burger Bar, home of a particular burger we're going to try that's very similar to the real Bob's Burgers. For it being such a beautiful night, I wanted to sit outside to see the sunset. And tonight on the menu, to give homage to the deep fried cheeseburger at Bob's Burgers, I know it's a PG title, but we're going to do the Bad Ace Burger. I'm not going to say the real name on my show. But it has patties, homemade American cheese, and fried bacon. And that's the reason why we're going to try this today. So while my burger's cooking, I might as well tell you my favorite episode moments throughout the seasons of Bob's Burgers. I can't pinpoint where exactly particular episodes were. But there's an episode where Bob and Linda went to a show that's like a parody of the Broadway show Stomp, which they make noises out of their feet and brooms and trash cans and all that. But it's called Cake. It's not what you think it is with like eating cake and all that. It's actually patty cake. But imagine like 20 to 30 people making a show out of playing the game of patty cake. And it was just so funny and creative. And it's just stuck in my mind for the longest time. And Bob loved the show. and. He wanted to go and play patty cake with everyone because he was obsessed with the show. So I just thought that was so funny. And one of my favorite characters, other than Bob Belcher, of course, has to be his best friend, Teddy, who's one of his regulars at the burger joint. And he just has this funny voice and his personality. Like, hey, Bob. Hey, I love you, Bob. Ha, ha, Bob. And uh, there was an episode where they had a soft serve ice cream machine and Teddy was obsessed with the, the ice cream. And then, then Teddy's like, Bob, anything you make, I love Bob. And it just tastes so good, Bob. He goes, Teddy, you'll eat anything. And he gives him a piece of a sponge that he cleans in his kitchen. And he eats a piece of sponge, Teddy. He goes, oh my gosh, Bob, that, that tastes so good. Bob, did you make this, Bob? I, I love this, Bob. This tastes so good, Bob. <laughs> I just cannot stop laughing how funny that particular character is. I'll give you my third favorite one about the show. It is the episode where Bob's kids, Gene and Louise and Tina, they... Um, make a musical based on the inventor Thomas Edison and it was a uh, the kids were doing a little play based on Thomas Edison they're trying to cover up uh, Topsy the elephant one of the experiments that Thomas Edison used uh, the poor elephant they electrocuted so it's actually real believe it or not but anyway that was just so funny it was again creative and so funny and what I really appreciate about Bob's Burgers is actually just the creativity and the funniness of the show it's definitely a PG PG 13 show but it's definitely something worth watching and uh, yeah, I, I just cannot stop laughing at Bob's Burgers. It's just examples of how funny and creative the show actually is. And here's what we're dealing with, guys. This is the Bad Ace Burger. And yes, I got fries to go with it this time with their famous Bad Daddy sauce. And look at the burger here. Deep fried bacon alongside with the cheese, homemade cheese. And Bad Daddy's exclusive beer, the Amber Ale. So like I said before, this is just giving homage to the deep fried burger from the Bob's Burgers in Dalton, Georgia. Clearly the patties aren't deep fried, which their patties were, but at least I got some deep fried bacon to go with it. So pretty, it's pretty bad ace, I gotta say. <laughs> mm. Mm. Very good. I love them fries. The fries are so good here by itself. With the famous Bad Daddy sauce. Delicious. I'll try the beer. Be good. Right there, you know, with the beer and the burger.
a very satisfying burger. Not exactly what it was at the real Bob's Burgers, but it's always a good alternative. The Bad Ace Burger at Bad Daddy's. Well, now that I got that Bad Ace Burger in my tummy, it just kind of gives a nostalgic feel what the deep fried cheeseburger was kind of like at the actual Bob's Burgers in Dalton. So you can definitely come to this joint to actually experience with a little deep fried action on top of your burger. So let's go ahead and see the movie and we'll come back to my house and I'll tell you what I think and I'll give you a non-spoiler review. And here we are at the AMC Movie Theater right behind the Dalton Mall. So before we actually watch the movie, I wanted to say that I re-watched the episode of the Thomas Edison episode of Bob's Burgers. They weren't really trying to cover up Topsy. They wanted to share the story of Topsy because Luis did not like the new uh, science teacher that was judging the science fair. So uh, the librarian talked about Topsy to the kids and Luis thought it would be fun to expose a really disturbing story about Thomas Edison because her science teacher was obsessed with Thomas Edison. That was the main reason of uh, the whole little reenactment they were doing, but they just had a lot of fun on the way making that little play about it. All right, let's, so let's go see the movie, and I'll be right back. I'll see you in a minute. Hey, friends, so I just got back from the movie, and I just got to say I absolutely love the movie, and don't worry, I did not complain the whole time. Matter of fact, I laughed the entire time, and I think it's worth seeing the movie alongside with the fellow Bob's Burger fans. I laughed the entire time. The movie was well written, well paced, great plot, and uh, I would love to see the movie again. Uh, it was well worth spending the money the first time. I understand that we're living in some crazy times and we're trying to save our money, but if you're a humongous Bob's Burger fan, I highly suggest see this movie in theaters and really enjoy it with your fellow fans. Um, I know a lot of movies are kind of just going straight to the streaming service or they're going to be in the theater just for a short period of time then to the streaming service. I highly recommend if you love Bob's Burgers, it's worth the money to see at least one time in theater. So you can laugh amongst the fans and enjoy a really creative and fun movie. I kind of felt like this movie brought back to early Bob's Burgers season roots. Uh, again, it was creative. It was funny. And it had some really good moments in it. And um, if movies were more, like more comedies were more like this movie, I think more movies would be more successful. So, um, yeah, again, I really enjoyed this movie. Great plot, great writing, great humor. Especially, I'm not going to spoil the movie. I'm not going to say anything. But I will tell you, if you guys enjoy Jeans, uh, Warm Liners, you're going to be on the floor laughing. So, uh, yeah, I would highly recommend go see the Bob's Burgers movie. Well, my friends, I hope you guys enjoyed this particular vlog to celebrate Bob's Burgers, the movie, but also learn that Dalton had a real Bob's Burgers. So, if you guys enjoyed this particular vlog, give this vlog a thumbs up. It shows that you care and you enjoyed yourself. And please, my friends, hit that red subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you join in for some more fun. And also, a great way to end this particular vlog, we do need one more thing. Cheeseburger and a milkshake. Well, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Eat well and keep your mind walking. I'll see you guys later. Stop daydreaming. Let's have some of that ice cream. Okay, here we go. First bowl of a new era. Oh, oh nasty. Oh, that, give me here, give me here, give me here. No, 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 I wouldn't eat that. I just give it to me. It's not ready give yet. Me. Oh, wow, that is something there. As your first customer, I can tell you, you don't change a thing, you know? Tell you, you'll eat anything. What? I won't eat anything. I'm pretty discerning. Eat this. No. What was that? Don't feed a guy a sponge, Bobby. <laughs> don't feed a guy a sponge. You put it in your mouth, Teddy. Uh.